taxonomy and classification of green turtle. It falls under kingdom of Animalia, subkingdom Bilateria, infrakingdom Deuterostomia, phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, infrafylum Gnathostomata, superclass Tetrapoda, class Reptilia. Green turtle falls under the same class as other reptilians such as crocodile, lizard, and snake. Why? This is because they are ectothermic, which means they are cold blooded. They are oviparous, which means they lay their eggs. But some of the reptiles, such as lizard, they give birth to their baby. And then most of them lay their eggs in the sand and bury it. Um, are all the reptiles vocalized or make sounds? Most of them are make, making sounds and hiss. But for sexy turtle, they do not have a vocal cord. There are seven species of sea turtle in the world. Six of them are belongs to the same family Chelonidae as the green sea turtle. Therefore, the green sea turtle are the largest in the family Chelonidae, but the second largest species of sea turtle, second to the big leatherback turtle. And the species name is Chelonia maidas. Common name is green sea turtle, and local name is Pinyu aga. Geographical area of green sea turtle. This endangered species of sea turtle are the most common one in Malaysia. As we know, that turtle will undergo their loss here and they will migrate all around the world but in Malaysia, a hotspot where you can easily find green sea turtle and place where the nesting is at Sabah, Melaka, Johor and Terengganu. However, you still can find them in Sarawak, Pahang and Perak. Habitat of the Green Sea Turtles Green sea turtles can be found all around the world but they are most common in the Mediterranean Sea, subtropical and temperate areas of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. In Malaysia, green sea turtles are typically found in Terengganu, Pahang, Johor, Perak, Sabah, and Sarawak, which led to the provision of nesting areas to conserve these endangered species. The beautiful green sea turtles live mostly in bays and protected shorelines, especially in regions with seagrass meadows where sea temperature do not fall below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. They are hardly ever seen in the open ocean. Did you know, green sea turtles can submerge for up to 5 hours at a time because their heart rate slows to conserve oxygen. The interval between heartbeats can be as long as 9 minutes. In order to reduce their metabolism during the chilly winter, green sea turtles in some subtropical lagoons will burrow in the mud and go into hibernation. Ecology of green sea turtles Like other sea turtles, they are highly migratory and depends on a wide variety of regions and habitats during their lifetime. They consume a large amount of algae, rich sexual maturity around the age 20. Starting from the baby sea turtles enter the oceans until the sexual mature period, we consider a lost year or mysterious journey because we don't know either they have could survive or not. Green turtles are important as scavengers, herbivores, carnivores, and often contribute significant biomass to the ecosystem. Hence, the interactions of the sea organism is very crucial. Hatchling are an important source of food for many animals. Birds, fish, and reptiles like monitor lizards rely on a plentiful hatchling to survive during nest seasons. Conservation Action in Malaysia The Turtle Sanctuary and Information Centre at Cerating Pahang is an example of at situ conservation in Malaysia. The Turtle Sanctuary has a few initiatives aimed at conserving the turtle population including educating the public about these gentle creatures and acting as a hatchery for the eggs. Besides at situ conservation, Malaysia also practicing in situ conservation such as Jagar Hutan Turtle Sanctuary in Pulau Redang, Terengganu. This long-term project will provide basic yet vital information on the population sizes, monitor yearly population fluctuation, study reproductive and nesting behavior, and determine the success of in-situ and relocated nests. 
The next one is Turtle Islands Park in Sabah. These park rules and regulations are strictly enforced and visitors are not allowed on the beach from sunset to sunrise as not to disturb the turtles. They were also the turtle hatchery site. Conservation action in Singapore, Costa Rica and Indonesia. Sisters Islands Marine Park in Singapore. Singapore's first turtle hatchery was opened at the Sisters Islands Marine Park in late September 2018. The hatchery is strategically located on Small Sisters Island, a protected area zone for conservation and research. Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica This park has been the site of a sea turtle preservation program for over half a century. This is a program that continues to this day and now counts more than 83,000 adult female green turtles in the records. Red Eradication Conservation Program in Indonesia Although not vigorously quantified, large numbers of the eggs and hatchlings were being destroyed or hunted and killed by the exotic rodents. The IUCN red list for this species is endangered. The IUCN emphasized the need for turtle populations around the world to be conserved by classifying turtles as endangered, with the hope of protecting this species from continued extinction. The first thing that is a treat to green sea turtles is over-harvesting and illegal trees. All over the world, green turtles continue to be hunted and their eggs harvest. Turtle eggs are widely sold because they are believed to bring a lot of profit in trade and tens of thousands of green turtles are harvested every year. The second treat to green sea turtles is habitat loss. Turtles depend on beaches to nest. Uncontrolled coastal development such as artificial islands and sea walls, over coastal vehicles, and other human activities have destroyed and disturbed sea turtle nesting beaches around the world. Green turtle feeding grounds such as seagrass meadows are also at risk from coastal development because the sea reclamation process takes sand from the seabed and it will destroy the underwater ecosystem. Fisheries by catch. In a single year, there are hundreds of thousands sea turtles accidentally caught in shrimp trawls on long hooks and in fishing nets. Sea turtles need to reach the surface to breathe, and therefore many drown after being caught. As fishing activities develop, this threat becomes more of a problem and leads to extinction of green sea turtles. And lastly is climate change. Climate change also leads to rising sea levels which leads to flooding. When a flood occurs in the area where turtles lay their eggs, it can cause the turtle eggs to drown and then sink. This also makes the turtles sad because their children drown due to the floods caused by climate change. <laughs>